Hey my little rainbows and welcome back to another episode of the royal family. Before we begin today's episode, I have a few shout outs to give for those who have purchased my merch. So we have Ashley from Missouri, Serenity from Pennsylvania, and Savannah from Florida. So a big thank you to all of them. I appreciate the support and I'm so glad you guys like our Chibi Amira merch as well. If you have purchased merch and you also want to shout out, you can tag me in your pictures on Instagram or Twitter and my Twitter and Instagram accounts are in the description below. But let's go ahead and jump into today's episode. Today is going to be a really exciting episode that me and I know a lot of you guys have been looking forward to for a while. We are going to be doing our debutante ball that we've been talking about for all the teenagers. So that is going to be the main part of our video. So it's not quite time yet to start the debutante ball, which is fine because I have a lot to talk about, specifically the machinima that I posted a few days ago. If you have have not seen it yet, click the link in the description below to go watch it because you guys need to watch it if you have not seen it yet. I know I left you guys on a major cliffhanger, so King Henry is not dead, don't worry. He had a heart attack and he has passed all of his current responsibilities to Amira while he recovers. So Amira is the one who will be chaperoning, I guess, basically this debutante ball, which I'll get more into in a minute. But just because like everyone who is King Henry's age has already passed away and he still has a little bit longer left to live but he is getting older and I felt like it'd be realistic that he is not in completely good health and that he had a heart attack so he is currently recovering from that. I don't know how much longer he has left to live exactly. I'm hoping it's at least another few episodes but I think we'll probably be seeing it soon you guys which is really really sad. And then I want to talk about real quick the last episode too. I'll just I'm just going to talk a little bit in the beginning of this video and then I promise we'll get into some like actual actual gameplay with the debutante ball. But I'm so glad you guys liked Prince Han. I was not expecting that many people to like Prince Han from the last episode. I think that you guys just saw like a big connection between him and Araminta. So we'll talk about that in this episode as well. Just to like dissect the machinima that I did post it a few days ago, the separate machinima. Someone was asking why Bellatrix was playing soccer outside. So I'll just give you guys some background because I felt like the scene itself just said a lot about each of the characters. Bellatrix, for one, is really active. I didn't actually notice until the Machinima, like, how muscular she was. I guess she's just been, like, working out a ton. Because I think when she turns into a young adult, she'll probably be joining the military. But I just feel like dribbling the soccer ball is something that she usually does. And I feel like, especially at night, it's something she does to help clear her head. And Bellatrix is going through stuff on her own as well that we haven't really gotten into, but we will get into in this episode. So I feel like she, it was, like, really late at night. And I feel like she went out there to dribble the soccer ball to clear her head because she has a lot of stuff going on with Samaria that she's been thinking about. So that's why she was out playing soccer really late at night. And then I also feel like when she was telling Charles, like we just have to have faith that everything is going to work out on its own. I think that she was not just talking about Charles at that. I think she was talking about her own stuff as well. And then Charles is going through a lot. And obviously like the news about his father's heart attack did not help at all. I just feel like all this stuff is gonna happen one after another for him. And he just is going to really need his family and there's support at this point. We'll see him and Araminta and Prince Han in this episode as well, so we'll get into that later. And then this intro, this video intro, um, so you guys saw that Naya and Philip have decided, I mean, basically told Arya and Gabriel that they need to stay away from each other, or told Arya that they want her to stop seeing Gabriel, but, like, in a Naya and Philip way. Like, I still feel like they are very laid back compared to other royal parents. I don't know if that doesn't make sense, but yeah, compared to comparatively, they are more laid back. And I think Arya just didn't really respond much. Like, I'm sure she would have said a lot more if Gabriel wasn't hiding in her closet. I think she just wanted to get them out of there. She probably wasn't happy about that information that her parents gave her, but I think she already knew they were gonna say that anyway. Maybe she like overheard them one night talking about it or something. So I think she already knew. I just feel like she's got a mind of her own and she, I think, is crazy about Gabriel. So I don't think anything was gonna stop her from seeing Gabriel. But we will also get to see Gabriel and Arya in this episode too. I do wanna just get into it because I don't wanna just talk the entire time because I talked a lot in the last episode. So where do we get debutante ball? Which is exciting. So an actual debutante ball is meant for women coming of age in like very rich and aristocratic society. But I think we're, it's going to be, I'm just gonna keep calling it a debutante ball, but it's going to be not just for the women. Like it's gonna be for all the teenagers. I don't like the fact that it would just be for women. I think it's for 
all the teenagers, boys and girls, I want to make it a thing that we do maybe twice a generation or so. I don't know, the generations, they've kind of all, not like overlapped, but like we've got a lot of like older and younger in the same generation technically. So we'll do another one for like Alice May and Prince William when they age up into teenagers too. I think we're going to have each kingdom take turns hosting it. And I wanted to start with Windenburg because they're the ones who have started it all. So I felt like they should be starting the debutante ball as well. But since this whole thing happened with King Henry, I feel like they were going to host it anyway and he didn't want to like not host it just because of what happened. So he asked Amira and Jabari to be the ones there. I'm sure there's royal staff here. There's never like royal staff ever in our videos I know besides like a few butlers and stuff cause it's a Sims game, but I'm sure there's plenty of staff here. So yeah, I don't think it's just Amira and Jabari who are chaperoning the ball because that would be just a lot for the two of them. With like all these teenagers, oh my God, you guys, I think we're about to hit like so much drama. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so I have already started the debutante ball. So we've invited everyone. I knew that it takes a long time for people to arrive on the Windenburg lot for some reason. But yeah, King Henry is at the Summer Palace, the Windenburg Summer Palace with Queen Evangeline. And then Kellen and Meghan are also there with Alice May and William just to like help watch Alice May because I didn't want Alice May to be here with all these teenagers. Oh God, oh, okay, so they're arriving already. I'm so excited to show you like all their outfits and stuff. I took like hours before I started filming this to actually pick everything out. This right here, wait, she's come back. So this is Aisha, but she's real angry and I don't know why, so that's not good. We have also, this is Lord Maxwell. So this is Bellatrix, Charles, and Diana's cousin because this is Queen Evangeline's nephew, so her sister's son. And then his brother should be here too. And then we have here, this is Prince Adric. So he has eight, or no, he's been a, he's been a teenager. His brother, Prince Elon, he is now a teenager. So we'll get to see him as well. They'll both be here. I am also going to try to play from every one of the families. So we'll kind of see how that goes. I might just like, cause I don't want the party to end. So I might just have to like add them to our family to be able to play from them. And then here we have Princess Samaria. So, okay, cool. So we can start with Princess Samaria and Bellatrix and kind of what's going on with them. So I think with Samaria and Bellatrix, I do still think they have not been totally public about their relationship. Cause like Bellatrix is really close with Makana and Makana has had a huge crush on her growing up. And I think Samaria knows that and she doesn't want to hurt her brother. So I do think that she doesn't want to tell anyone yet. But yeah, here's Makana right here. So Makana and Bellatrix are pretty, oh gosh, are pretty good friends. So that's why I think Samaria and Bellatrix have not told a lot of people about the relationship, but I do think Bellatrix has told Charles. I don't think she's quite told like her parents or anyone yet though. And this is Princess Arya, you guys. Look at, she's like, She's such a queen. She's not a queen yet, but she will be one day. She's so pretty. I can't, I cannot get over how pretty she is. But with her and Gabriel, I do think that her and Gabriel, they can't be together at the balls. Oh, okay, that food didn't taste good apparently. Oh, wait, no, that's Gabriel right there. Wait, he's just coming to sit by her. Oh my God, they're supposed to be avoiding each other, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So I do think Gabriel, obviously you guys have seen, he has like a little bit of a temper, especially when it comes to Arya. He's just very, very passionate, I feel like. I don't know why Arya keeps eating that food if it tastes so bad. She just keeps eating it and it tastes disgusting. Like, like, look, again, stop, just stop eating the food. It's fine. But yeah, Gabriel and Arya are not supposed to be next to each other, but like, he just sat down right next to her. All right, that flower is really big. I should probably like fix that. And then we have some other teenagers that you guys haven't really seen before. This is Lord Aryan. So he is from Oasis Springs. And then we also have Lord Aaron, who you guys have seen before. Oh, Lord Aaron. Oh, he, he came to go sit next to Arya and then their parents tried to get them into an arranged marriage after things didn't work out with Gabriel, but there was not really a connection between them. So maybe he's gonna try to talk to Arya during the ball and maybe Gabriel's gonna get a little bit jealous. So we'll see how that goes. And then here we have a Prince Takashi. So he's here. And then Prince Manuel has also aged up into a teenager. He's definitely a mix between his mother and father, but he's super cute, you guys, isn't he? Oh my gosh, I love him a lot. I think he's really cute. And then we have Princess Anya here as well as well.
well. And then Princess Araminta and Prince Han should be coming too. So I do think that they are coming to the ball together. I think that they like were talking in the last episode, but I also feel like it is because they had Araminta's father and Prince Han's sister, Princess Tai there as well. So I think that's why they were able to talk more, but I feel like just them two, it's a little bit more awkward. I do think that, pr oh, there's Araminta. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure about this dress when I gave it to her because it's like very, very out there and unique, but I think it looked really, really good on her. I don't know. I may change it later. We'll, we'll see. Maybe she brought a second, second outfit. I don't know. But Prince Han doesn't seem to be with her, but I imagine that they would have come together. But yeah, so Prince Han is very shy, I feel like. And I think that he was very shocked and wasn't expecting to like Araminta so much. So well, I'll get to them in a minute because I actually want to play from each family like one by one. But yeah, I want Bellatrix to kind of like sneak off and go see Samaria because I want them to talk to each other a little bit because they're really not getting a chance to talk much right now. Okay, so Bellatrix and Samaria have snuck off to Bellatrix's room. So with them. I just, I feel like Bellatrix has already admitted her feelings to Samaria and Samaria already had feelings for Bellatrix too, but then I think that's when she realized like, look, my brother has had a crush on you for years and I just I don't, I mean, that's her twin brother and they're really close too. So she's just like, I don't want to ruin things with him. I don't want him to get upset with me. But like, I really do feel like Bellatrix is like Makana's dream girl and Samaria doesn't want to hurt him. So that's why I think that she, they don't want to tell anyone yet. So we're gonna have to see what happens with them. Bellatrix, she has to think about this stuff too because another thing is that, I'm gonna have them like flirt and stuff. I think that with Bellatrix, she's thinking about the fact that she's always wanted to go into the military. I know that it doesn't work like this in The Sims game, but it works like this in real life where she might have to be away for a while. So I think that she's also thinking about that fact because she would be away from Samaria as well. So she still has a good amount of time before she ages up into, oh, they haven't had their first kiss yet. Oh, maybe they'll have their first kiss. But she actually, I feel like the teenager phase is so long because she still has a while before she ages up into a young adult, like, like a while before she ages up. So, it's nothing that she has to think about really anytime soon. But I do feel like that's something that's been on her mind. So I think with Bellatrix and Samaria, I think she's going to tell her, okay, like we can keep it a secret for a while, but just know I feel like such myself around you. Cause you guys have seen in like both Mission of Us that Bellatrix has been in that she is very sassy and like kind of acts like she doesn't care, but she actually really has a big heart. But I feel like with Samaria, she feels like she can be herself she feels like she can be affectionate, but I am gonna have them have their first kiss because I think that these this stuff, oh, okay, she just like walked through her. But I think that the stuff that Bellatrix has been saying, why do you guys keep walking through each other? Okay, but they're having their first kiss now. And I think this is really cute and really, really sweet, you guys. This is so cute. But yeah, I just feel like with Bellatrix telling Samaria that she feels like she can be like herself around her. She's just so happy around her. She likes being around her. And I feel like that would initiate like a first kiss. So yes. And then guys with Diana. I think that she still has a crush on Makai. I think that like Makai hasn't been at the palace very often because I mean like he's their royal advisor, but he hasn't been here much because he's staying with his parents because they're getting a lot older and he's just there to help take care of them and stuff. So I feel like Diana hasn't seen him for a while, but like she still really misses him. And I think she just like has this idea of him in her head. So like, I don't really know if she'd really be interested in anyone here just because of her crush on Makai. But I'm sure she would talk to like some of the people here too. So like I'll have her talk to some people. So, oh, okay. So this is Prince Elon. So I'll have her introduce herself to him. So Prince Adric is the heir to the throne of Selvadorada. Prince Elon is the younger brother. So that is a Prince Jabari's nephew. And then we have Charles, you guys. I just saw like two drinks in his head. Uh, it doesn't look like he's quite let up on the drinking. I feel like with him, his father just had a heart attack. Like that's freaky and scary. Even though he didn't die, it's still terrifying. And obviously he's still getting over Araminta. I do feel like he's talking to Bellatrix now though and being like, Araminta is here with the guy that she's supposed to marry. And also he can't talk to Araminta. Araminta won't talk to him. So there's that too. I do feel like he kind Kind of sucks like Araminta just brought him to his own house but like this is like a public event all the teenagers were supposed to come so I feel like it's a lot different so I did download this prom dancing animation and so it's an animation it's not a mod to actually make them interact so basically the animations that I 
do for my machinimas and stuff. That's basically what this whole prom dancing animation thing is. Right here we have Princess Julia and Prince Manuel. They're dancing together. And then uh, again, as I mentioned, I have like moved different Sims into this household just so we could focus on each different Sim. But then I also have Princess Aisha dancing with Lord Maxwell. And then here we have Prince Takashi and Princess Elena dancing together, which I think is super, super cute. So those are like the couples we have currently dancing. I want to see who else is going to dance with each other. You guys look at this though. So Arya is talking to Lord Aaron and then Gabriel is in the back here being super, super jealous. I kind of love this. I do feel like Lord Aaron is like super into Arya, but obviously Arya is into Gabriel. Um, also guys, look how awkward this is. <laughs> I really think that Araminta is still super gloomy and upset about this whole thing and she hates this and I feel like Han is just like he has no idea what to say. Like he's really awkward himself and doesn't know what to say. I, I want him to ask her to dance though. I'll focus on them in just a little bit. I'll let the like sit there in awkwardness for just a little bit more. So I did have Arya and Gabriel sneak off to like the palace grounds because I do think that Gabriel might've like during the party like tapped her because I really don't think that he could take her talking to someone else. I think he got really jealous. I think he told her like, I just wanted to be with you, I had to see you and uh, oh, okay. So yeah, we're gonna have to figure out what to do with them. Gabriel's gonna have to like pull some serious stuff. Oh, he likes her so much though, you guys. He likes her so much. They like each other so much. That's the thing. I feel like they're just both really passionate people. And then Arya has a mind of her own. And like, yes, she's like her mother, but like to a more extreme extent. So now they're like, okay, I'm gonna go in first. Then you could come in after me. Cause I think people know they're not supposed to see each other. And then Aisha is feeling very flirty, you guys. And she is talking to Lord Maxwell. Although it says, oh, it's a suggestive conversation. Oh, where are they going together, you guys? Oh, oh, I think they're gonna go cloud gaze together. Oh my God, you guys, it's actually cute. I was not expecting Lord Maxwell and Princess Aisha to be a thing, but like they're, they would actually be really cute together, I think. And then Manuel is feeling very flirty too. And he is talking to Princess Juliet. So that's a thing as, oh no, no, wait, yeah, Juliet. Wait, oh yeah, I was like, wasn't he dancing with Elena before? But no, that's Prince Takashi. I think they're still dancing on the dance floor. They're like the only ones dancing on the dance floor right now. Okay, so Hans, I feel like, has now asked Aramid to, to dance. Cause they were just like sitting there and I feel like he was kind of like, do you want to dance? And she's like, okay. I also, the thing about this animation though, is like, I wish they weren't the same height. I know there's like a height adjuster mod, but I I don't even think it would work with the same animation. Cause I think the animations like adjust the height for you. Cause like, I feel like Han's like really tall. I don't know. It just like, it adds to a lot when you like know their height. And like, I don't think they would be the same height, but I do feel like Han asked her like, is there a reason why you are kind of upset? Like what's going on? And I feel like this might be the first time Araminta is telling him about Charles, like just bringing it up. Like, I don't think she would go too into detail detail with him because I feel like right now she's kind of become like a way more closed off person. Look at the way he's looking at her though, you guys. I like, I think this is cute. I know their hands are kind of clipping against each other with this animation. It's not perfect, but it's fine. And then we have Anya here, you guys, who is looking as irritated as ever, I guess. I know you guys ship her and Cornelius so much, so I need to find Cornelius so she can actually talk to him. Okay, so I found Cornelius. So Anya is now talking to Cornelius. I still feel like he's got like a super, I don't think she'd complain about her love life, but I feel like she, or he has, I'm sorry, Cornelius has a pretty big crush, I feel like on Anya. I feel like he's had a big crush on her for a long time. I just, I don't know. I don't see her being that into Cornelius. I just feel like Anya has like all of these evil plans and I feel like Cornelius isn't quite on her level. Like I feel like Cornelius is just an angsty and angry kid who doesn't like being told what to do, but I feel like he has a potential. And I feel like Anya just is like, I don't have time for like people like you. I don't know. I, I don't know guys. I'm still trying to figure them out. I just wanted to focus on them because I'm trying to focus on like as many of them as I can. Oh, you guys, Genevieve is cloud gazing with Prince Adric. Oh my God. Genevieve 
Genevieve is like a queen. Everyone was saying that she reminds them of Queen Elizabeth II, like a younger version of her. I mean, she's just so poised. She's so gorgeous, you guys. Again, I'm like only able to like kind of lightly touch on some things. And I mean, with these stories and stuff, we'll get to them a little bit later, but they're possibilities. There's no romantic relationship with her and Prince Adric. Maybe I'll try having her flirt just like a little tiny bit. I know that we don't focus on Prince Adric or Prince Elon that much just because with the Salvadorado royal family, it tends to be a little bit glitchy just because of the fact that I use a mod to make Salvadorado a livable world. But I am hoping that we will get to focus on them in the future. I mean, we gotta focus on like Prince Jabari and stuff too. So we know we can focus on them at least. Oh my God, is wait, hold on, is Charles? Oh my God, no, he's talking to Araminta and he's talking to Prince Han, you guys. Oh my God, Araminta is yelling at him right now. Araminta is yelling, Why? Be probably because he's not supposed to talk to her. Now he's talking to her. Oh my God, you guys, I think Charles saw Araminta and Han dancing with each other and that he might be a little bit drunk and decided to approach them and Araminta's like, you're not supposed to talk to me. He's so angry. Hans, I feel like is, he doesn't know anything think about this like he like he doesn't know this is Araminta's ex I think he knows now but Araminta wasn't like that's my ex but I think now he's pretty much aware I mean like he's he looks like Han looks so he looks happy but I feel like it's more like trying to be like whoa okay like you don't have to be like this like I don't know what's going on like I really do feel like Charles just approached him and got angry out of no oh 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 he just pushed him you guys Hans didn't push him back though I feel like Hans is like I'm not like I'm not gonna do this I'm not gonna be part of this I I really don't feel like Hans wants to fight. And I feel like Araminta's like, just leave us alone. I told you not to talk to me. Han is just trying to walk away. What is, what, who is Anya talking? Is Anya talking to herself in the mirror in the back of this? That seems a little bit strange. You know what though? I feel like, wait, no. Oh my God, Charles. I feel like Bellatrix needs to like step in here and help. I feel like people would probably stop dancing because I think that there is this fight going on. On, and people are crowding a little bit in here. And Bellatrix, you need to talk to your brother. Cause yeah, Bellatrix knows what he's going through. Bellatrix, come back. You're supposed <gasps> No, Bellatrix! Oh my God, you guys. Oh my, everybody's watching. <gasps> Everybody is watching you guys. Except for them, they're still slow dancing. They need to stop so they can see this. Oh my God, Charles. He's walking away from him. Han is like, okay. I feel like Han didn't, he was only doing self-defense. It must've been very obvious that Charles was the one who started the fight because they had plenty of witnesses to see that. Okay, Araminta, you should probably go talk to, she's feeling mortified. Why are you feeling mortified? Probably just embarrassed because her, ex-boyfriend just tried to fight like her future husband who she still doesn't have feelings with. I feel like she doesn't still have feelings for Han, but I feel like this is the first time she's like kind of opened up to him. And then her ex-boyfriend just fought him. All right, Bellatrix, go talk to your brother. Go comfort your brother. Go pray in his day. You should go talk to him. You guys, I still can't find Kimberly, which makes me upset. Oh, Charles and Bellatrix, they're all going down here. I think Bellatrix is like, dude, we need to talk. Like, you cannot keep doing this. In the machinima, she told him like, you need to stop drinking. But I feel like now she's gonna be like, I'm dead serious. I'm actually worried about you. Like, this has become a huge problem. And oh my God, and Arya and Gabriel are down here. Oh my God. I find it so funny. Arya and Gabriel were down here by themselves. Oh my God, guys, stop. Stop flirting in front of people. You can't be this obvious about it. He just kissed her on the cheek. Go somewhere a little bit more subtle, please. I don't want you guys to get in trouble. So I have finally found Princess Kimberly. She was on like the third floor. Like, oh, oh God. Okay, Makana's like going through the couch. He like can't decide if he wants to sit down or not. But she was on like the third floor in the library of the Wittenberg Palace. So I, yeah, I guess, I mean, she just doesn't like being around people. And like Makana was talking and like hanging around at the party a lot more, but he is also a loner. So I feel like he finally had enough and like wanted to get her away. And then he found Kimberly here in the library. And I do feel like with the Royals, most of them tend to be pretty outgoing and are fine with the social lifestyle that they live and like all the extravagant parties and balls. But I feel like Kimberly really, like she's much more of a loner and so is Makana too. So I feel like they've just found each other and 
they're like talking and getting along because there's not too many loner royals. So Kimberly might be the one to get Makana like off of his crush from Bellatrix. I feel like with this debutante ball, it's a lot of like introducing relationships. Like we can't get too in depth into them. I know you guys probably wanted to see a little bit more drama. I don't know, we had some drama with Charles and Nahan and all of them. So there was that. Oh, and then they're embracing each other. Oh, I feel like they were like, it was really great talking about this stuff with you. So that is one relationship we could focus on as well. But guys, I think this is a good place to end this episode. So we're gonna end this here. Definitely make sure you comment below what you think of all these different relationships because we had so much stuff happen in this episode. Let me know what you guys think of the debutante ball and how it went because I'm excited to do more of these in the future as well. If you like this episode, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!